Hey, what's up, guys? This is going to be a quick video. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> I know some of you have seen the uh, winning bed slip that I posted from this past weekend. Um, I played Sandor Martin to win by stoppage against, I believe the guy's name is Arblin Kaba. I know his last name is Kaba. Um, you know, uh, I didn't know he was fighting this weekend until like maybe Wednesday, Thursday. I saw his name on the board. I was like, damn, he fighting? I'm like, who is this guy he fighting? And uh, once I looked into it, you know, looked at, at the guy that he was fighting, and I saw that he was like, I think like 12 and 4 with like two knockouts, and, and he had been stopped twice or something like that. I'm like, Sandor got a chance at stopping this guy, all right. Um, now, the, the thing that had me the most nervous was it was only an eight round fight, all right. Clearly, a tune up, clearly, a guy not on his level that was outmatched skill wise. You look at his resume, he had not fought anybody on the level of Sandor Martin, all right. Um, you know, according to Boxrick, Sandor was like number five in the world, and this guy was like 239 or some shit like that, all right. So, um, you know, clearly a, a big skill gap. And uh, as I told you guys, when I first evaluated Sandor before the Mikey fight, you know, his record is deceiving, man. You know, not a lot of knockouts. You know, his KO percentage is like in a 30% range. But uh, the guy can punch. He has a, a decent punch, all right. You know, he's not necessarily a, a one-punch KO guy. But he's kind of like Mayweather, you know. You're going to respect his punch. You know, you're not just going to keep trying to walk walk through the guy, all right? Um, you know, if, if he hits you, you will feel it and it can hurt you, all right? So, um, you know, when I looked at the stoppage at the end of this fight, Sandor was standing, you know, uh, I mean, standing in the pocket with the guy, didn't respect him, didn't respect his skill, didn't respect his power, was walking him down in the pocket with him and just teeing off on him at will till he stopped him all right that's basically what he did all right in this guy's in this guy's country man in uh in italy all right i believe that's where it was so uh so yes uh you know it, i got it at a plus 110 at first it was like around the plus 150 range smart betters you know thinking that he would get the stoppage like i did um and that's what happened, all right, in the sixth round. Also, the under was very high, too. At first, it was at a plus 240, I believe, uh, at betonline.ag. And uh, it eventually came down to a plus 180, all right. Um, I'm trying to think uh, what else. And the stoppage, I think, initially was at like a plus 150. Then it came down to a plus 110. You know, so people were playing it, man. And... Uh, you know, Sandor did get a stoppage in the fight, all right. Um, the only other thing from this weekend, you know, I watched the Bomb Garner fight. She won. Man, uh, <laughs> I was tempted to come on and uh, do a do a, kind of a little fun video with you guys, man, because uh, man had me, had me some gummies, and uh, <laughs> I, was, I was looking at that fight, and I'm like, man, this chick, like, the most beautiful boxer I've ever seen. I ain't talking about like a, you know, like a, a face and body and like that. I'm talking about just the way she was moving, the way she was standing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, God damn, it's like I ain't never seen a, a boxer look more beautiful, more graceful. <laughs> you know, I started to come on that some fun with you guys, man. But uh, uh, I just I think after the fight, I basically just kind of passed out. All right. Didn't get to see the Frank Martin fight, man, uh, and I wanted to go back and see it too, because um, you know, because uh, some people said it was close, some people said it was a robbery, and I haven't watched Frank Martin yet. I was waiting until he fought somebody that was, you know, worth watching him fight. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not interested in seeing guys when they blowing guys out, you know, and all that shit, you know, not in, in, in a decent fight with decent competition. All right. So, like he was in a competitive fight, I wish I could have seen it. Uh, I might try to catch it at some point, all right? Um, 
the only thing that I'm seeing so far coming up this weekend is the Max Hughes Cambosis fight. Uh, I probably would put a little something on uh, Max Hughes, uh, and I see it's like a minus three seventy or so for it to go the distance. You know, I think that might be a good play, guys, uh, for that fight to go the distance or to play the over in that fight, whatever it's gonna be. Um, you know, this probably would be a decision fight, all right. And then, because of you know the value, uh, I might put a little something on Maxi Hughes, all right. So that's what I'm thinking about so far, as you know, as far as the upcoming weekend. But I hope you guys know well. Oh, also, and shout out to Black Horseman UGC Flame. I <laughs> saw, so, you know, you did the video talking about the chick on the zone that that uh, showed her titties or whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah every, I was I kept seeing all these sensor versions, you know, sensor blurred or whatever. And then somebody said I saw somebody say that the uncensored was on Twitter. And sure enough, I pulled the shit up and I got a good laugh, man. Um, you know, uh, what, is, <laughs> what is the zone? <laughs> what is the zone doing, man? You know, um, it's funny. That, hell, she's the greatest female boxer of all time. <laughs> oh, man. Well, really, that's it, guys. A quick video for me. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Hope you enjoyed the fights. And uh, I will check in with you soon. Thanks for watching.